Good morning, guys. I'm kind of bothered because it's dry out right now, and it's been raining all day long. And uh, this morning, over at uh, at the park by the McKinley Monument, all that whole stream that runs through there was just overflowing. And I wanted to go down there today and film my morning show at the park so I could show you just how much water was out there because it was pretty crazy. But I ran out and I filmed a few other things, and on my way to the park it started raining. And I thought, you know what, I don't have any of my regular equipment with me, I don't have my waterproof cases, I don't have my waterproof little bag that I can put my iPhone in. So I decided not to do it. I came home and edited a couple other videos, and now I come out here on the porch and it's like bone dry. <laughs> the thing is, it's just about to get dark, so I really don't have the opportunity anymore to go over there. But so what I thought I would talk about this morning is like, I want to know how many of you actually have some kind of a schedule that you live by every day. Now, this is a lot easier if you're going to work at a certain time every day and then you clock in at like 7 a.m. and you get out of there at 3 p.m. or 7 p.m. and then you head home, you know, and then you do whatever you do in the evening. But, um, but like for me... I work for myself. I am self-employed. I do, as you guys know, I do like eBay and Etsy and, and a lot of things like that. I've been doing this for, you know, what, eight years now, going on nine years or something. And, uh, and I really love, like, the freedom that comes with it, but it's kind of like a blessing and a curse because that freedom lets me get up and do whatever I want during the day whenever I want to, to an extent. But the thing is that it also causes chaos because it allows me to sleep in and it allows me to put things off. Um, instead of getting up in the morning and going, okay, I have to go to work, running out and filming like the morning show and then going and filming some abandoned places and then, you know, maybe coming back and editing a barn video and, you know, doing things in some kind of an organizational uh, pattern, I guess it allows so much chaos and that freedom actually just becomes well chaotic <laughs> because i get into this point where i'm like oh i gotta do this but you know i'll do it later i gotta do this first you know and well i'll do this first but then i'll you know and it's it just becomes a big mess so i'm getting to the point with everything that i have on my plate that i really really need to organize and I really need to start heading each day um, off with some kind of a schedule. You know, getting my butt up out of bed at 7 in the morning or 8 at the very latest. And then filming my morning show first thing. And, you know, having a schedule for everything that I need to do. Because if you think about it, it's like I'm trying to do a morning show every morning. I'm trying to do a, a retail or abandoned related video every day on the Nate Guy One channel. I'm doing three barn videos a week on this channel, um, which if I don't have any in the can, I have to make time to go film as well. And on top of that, I am, you know, doing other things like babysitting and going to my girlfriend's house. And, uh, you know, helping my dad with his eBay, and I'm doing my own eBay, doing my own Etsy, and, you know, doing things like Let Go and Craigslist and all kinds of stuff like that. So I have a 24-hour-a-day schedule <laughs> that I'm trying to squeeze in every day, and it's just absolutely crazy. You know, half the time, I put off eating because I need to get other things done. So I really, really need to start, uh, I guess, living by some kind of a schedule. So I don't know. What do you guys do? Do you have any kind of a schedule that you run by, like, uh, you know, just on a regular basis as a rule? Do um, you have any tips or tricks that you can tell me to better organize my day and to better manage my time? Um, and maybe even be able to squeeze some time in there for myself. Because like, I, I hardly ever take time out for myself to sit down and just unplug, maybe watch a movie, or, you know, just relax a little bit or something like that. So, I don't know. That's what I wanted to talk about today because that's what I'm thinking about. And I really wish I could have gone out to the park and filmed that overflow of water because that was crazy. 
but uh, I don't know. I'm sure it's not done raining here. So, all right, guys. Uh, I guess that's it for this morning. Wherever you guys are waking up, whatever time it is, make the best of your day. Do something for somebody else. Pay it forward. Let's make this world a better place, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.